This has been a really incredible night, and I can't help but how meaningful, think about how meaningful it is for me to, to be talking to you right now, because I feel like we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So first, thank you so much for having us, and thanks so much for welcoming us here. So thank thank you. you. What do you feel when you watch all these artists tonight? It's amazing. I, I'm super humbled, and I'm full of love right now, and I want to give it back to everybody in this room, and just prove how much talent there is in Nunavut. But not only talent, this is healing. There's ha healing happening in this room right now. And it's amazing to see. You know, sharing voices, sharing space, making space for others, and including everybody in your world has been important to you guys. I mean, from the very beginning, again, when we spoke, you said you have to come up and hear these artists, and you were giving me a list of five or six artists, and then you get this opportunity to play the Junos, you know, with the pretty much the biggest stage in Canadian music, and you take, you take other uh, acts from here with you. Well, why was that important to do? Um, coming from such a small place, like Josh was saying earlier, um, I think that you know, we were asked if we wanted to perform with Arcade Fire or Bare Naked Ladies, or if, if, if we wanted to collaborate with artists from the South, and we are kind of like, actually, not a lot of people get to go to the Junos from Nunavut, and we were like, we took this opportunity to just go in with artists from up here who are super talented and have so much to share, and so we said, we're going to take them with us. And that's, it was, it was an amazing thing for all of us, I think. We were crying, laughing, all emotions all over the place, like all over, like bouncing off the walls. And the love that, that we felt from up here, from all over Canada, actually, was just like no words, even. Mm. How, how did it feel when you were on stage giving those performances? You were on right after Arctic I'm, Fire, I'm just trying to like picture it again. <laughs> um, it was it was like as though I brought myself back up here, because the the love and support we get up here is what keeps us going. And without without the love that we get from our family and friends and you all. <laughs> um, I think that <laughs> I, it was important for me to bring myself back here in, while I was performing so that I could put out the best in my performing. Talk to me a little bit about some of the challenges that you guys had to face when you started out as a band here. <laughs> um, you know, like, we started off burning our own CDs <laughs> drawing our own artwork on the CD, like actual, like physical copy, like right before heading to our first festival on the flight from here to Yellowknife. And we made maybe 12 copies. And we, I think we might have sold out. I, I might have kept one, but... <laughs> it's worth a lot of money right now. It's, yeah, yeah. Um, but we've had to figure out how, how the music industry works on our own, kind of. And uh, it's, it's been a journey. Like, I feel so fortunate to be able to say that the younger artists can now just be artists and not have to worry about who's going to be their publicist or who's going to be their booking agent, who's going to book the venues that they're going to perform in. Or, you know, these things that we had to kind of constantly do on our own won't have to be a struggle for the young people, for the younger artists. It does feel easier now? Yeah, like we have a huge, like we have lots of support now. And uh, although it's, it's, still a bit, it's still a bit of a tr uh, struggle because um, Nunavut is so unique and we cannot just copy the Southern industry and paste it to Nunavut because we're not the South. Mm. And uh, I think that it's very important that we have the, this like Nunavut Music Week, for example, or events like this, so that we can figure out what we really need as a, a community or as a place in the North where it's, it's just unique and you can't just you know, copy and paste or mm. just 
it, it, we have to make our own kind of strategy to make something like this work. So you guys are working on a new record now, Jerry Cans? Mm -hmm, we a are. Anything you can tell us about it? It's... You're burning it your own. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We just recorded with Jace uh, in Montreal, and then he came up here uh, to do overdubs. And it's always been my dream to record in Igloovigak, or Iglu, you might know it as. Um, and it was amazing. It, it's, it, it was a dream come true for me. And, but also the music that we're making now is, you, you get to hear a new song, which is T tonight? exciting. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> And I think that this this album, our fourth album, is more, I don't know, should I le just leave it to the day it comes out? Or <laughs> just kidding. Well, um, I think we're going to hear it in like a couple of minutes, right? We're I guess so, that yeah. song, yeah. Is it, is, 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 have you changed your sound a little bit? Is that what you're a saying? A little bit, yeah. yep. Um, it's still upbeat and fun. We just have a lot more variety and more... More, I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but it's just kind of like what Josh was doing, but <laughs> a little bit different. So again, for the, for the radio <laughs> listeners, just a little bit more. <laughs> you know what I say to the people. <laughs> you know what I say to the people listening at home. You had to be there. <laughs> Does it make you nervous to move into a new direction at all? Sorry, what direction? A new direction with your music, <laughs> like you were saying. <laughs> I'm just thinking, you, you know, whenever, when I, whenever I speak to artists who are doing something different, um, sometimes they... It's been... I, I'm, I don't feel nervous. Um, although, obviously, performing it live is something different. Recording it, it has been really fun. Uh, it's new. I think we all were wanting some change in our, in our lives, in our music, whatever it is, creativity. And this one is like just bringing out the best in all of us. So it's, I'm so excited. What would you like to see going forward here? I want to I wanna leave the last question to you the same. Uh, I've been asking Josh, I've been asking Luck. Look, what do you want to see happen here? What I want to see is that we continue using our language and culture and be able to express our own feelings the, the most freely possible because it's not easy coming from a place where change happened so quickly. Uh, our, my parents lived a traditional life and then I'm here performing, wearing a click onesie, <laughs> <laughs> which is, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's just that change was so drastic that we're all trying to figure out how the heck to do this. And I think we're doing a good, good thing, and we're doing it right. And I'm excited for this, whatever change it will be, but I'm excited. Ladies and gentlemen, Nancy Mike. Please,